Hi, this is Chris, and in this tip video, I'm going to cover some of the functionality available in the Shot Manager, specifically the Shot Sequencer area. The Shot Sequencer is essentially the storyboard. It includes every single shot that has been stored in the order that they are to be presented. In Frameforge Storyboard Studio 4, you have a storyboard order and a shooting order. The storyboard order, which is the default view for the Shot Manager, reflects the shots as following the storyline of the script. The shooting order reflects the order of scenes to be shot during the actual production process. The shots you snap are automatically added to the storyboard order, but they are not automatically added to the shooting order list. You can add shots from the storyboard order to the shooting order via this button that has the plus sign on it. Once you've actually added shots to the shooting order, you can switch to it in order to see the shots you've added by using this slider function here. You can rearrange shots in the shot sequencer by directly dragging and dropping the selected shots. It doesn't matter if you are dragging and dropping thumbnail shots in the shot sequencer or line item shots from the shot tree, the process is the same either way. You can rearrange multiple shots at once by selecting distinct shots with the control or command keys and then dragging them to the desired location in the storyboard. Between sequences are indicated by these simulated film perf holes. This indicates that these shots are the keyframes in a tween sequence of shots. You can display these tween shots by clicking this arrow icon next to the shots entry on the shot tree or display all shots by using this display all function. Finally, if you want to hide all the shots taken on a particular set, click this hyphen icon on the first thumbnail shot in the series or this downward arrow icon. To display these hidden shots again, click the arrow icon again or use the display all function here. That's it for this tip video. We'll cover more of the shot manager in a later one.